Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means the world to me and I hope more people can learn from the video. Welcome to another video of Daily Practice Python and in this video we will see uh we will take a look at this just in case if you have never heard of this this video would be very suitable for you so let's take at the uh, let's take a look at the instruction write a program that prints out all the elements of the list that are less than five so actually there is something called even there is something called less check it out here in W3 School is actually a very good website for um, teaching very basic stuff. For example, right now the list, this actually starts. Uh, is actually like, it's like a, and it's something like an array. Like it stores different, inf different data, in a group. It starts with these square brackets and end with a square brackets. And inside you separate the elements with a comma. Okay. So actually, how do we print this? I will show you right now. Start your IDLE. Okay. Okay. So file, new file. This I will paste it here. So how do we print this actually we need to use some part of for loop for x in a so right now we are just printing it nothing fancy so we will say maybe here hit exercise for yeah whatever oh sorry exercise three Should be accessory. Okay, I press F five, run it, and we'll see if it works. Just give it a second. Yeah, now it actually prints everything. Oh, sorry, should be print X. I'll explain that in a moment. See now it works. So I explain what this for x in a means. In this a, in every element we call it, we call it x. You can make it like y, z if you want. It still works. Oops. Sorry, this change that as well. Run. Okay, see, it still works. So we can call this anything you want. You can call it num. If you want it to be more understandable, print now. Print now. It will work as well. Okay. But it says write a program that prints out all the elements of the list that are less than five. So we need to inside the for loop we should nest another uh, if if statement if num which is referring to array of this if num is less than five print less than five then print only we print now if it's not then we will not print it let's go f and f5 yeah it works so now it's just that simple just four line of course and i'll take a look at the extras we, instead of printing the elements one by one make a new list that has uh, all the elements that less than five on list in it and print out this new list Okay, actually there are many ways to do this. I will show you the most uh, straightforward one. We can create a new list, new a, maybe a new a equals to like this. Actually, and uh, instead of printing it out, we need to append it. And you might be wondering what is what in what in the world is append? It is actually a function. Um, 
it basically means that for example if right now it is empty right and then we append the image this one right now and append one that will be like this and one and two and whatever you append to okay that's the beauty of append so let's try and yeah before of course you need to print it out you print the new a okay let's see if it works yeah that works and it is in a new list but if you want something shorter you can do something like okay i'll comment off this first you can do something like this which is just in one line print this is the list right now okay x for x in a okay. i mean x in a yeah or in this case, uh, num, okay. Num in a, and if you remove this, actually, it, it will you throw an error, and I'll show you what's, what will happen if I do this. Yeah, see, it's, it will be a generator, so we need to convert it to list by using this square brackets. And let's forget, let's uh, forget about the condition right now. So if you want to add a condition, uh, it's very simple. We just put if after the whole thing, if x uh, no x a uh, num smaller than five. Yeah, now it works. So this okay. Now maybe you should look at, take a look at yeah. We have finished the first extras. Right, this in one line of Python. Yeah, we did it. Yes, like yes, what we did yes now. Okay, one line. Okay. Ask the user for a number and return a list that contains only elements from the original list. A hey, that are smaller than the number given by the user. Very simple, we just need to add a uh, add we need to take an input. So right here we need to do something like uh, we, need, we don't need this as well. We need to take an input just like the previous videos. Um input wait we should call something like uh, user input equal to rank input okay so the prompt method should be a uh, enter, uh, enter a number okay if so right now we are not using if uh, we are not using five we are not hard coding it instead we are following this the user's input so if the user uh, input six it will be six and so on okay Let's see if it works the number i would like seven okay run again one i think not there will be nothing yeah good run again 100 Okay, yeah, now everything is treated like expected. So I guess, so I think you have to learn about less and more conditionals and the most importantly, um, all the condition, all the stuff in one line, which is very convenient. And yes, I hope this video helps you in understanding about the list. And thank you for watching and stay safe.